Morning, Ben Shaw here uh, from Ben Shaw Training. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get nine category licenses um, for just doing three tests. Okay. So first of all, I mean, there's no gimmicks, there's no no tricks. It's uh, just logic. If you do the bigger category, you get the smaller categories given for free. Okay. So let me first explain what the smaller, well, the, the nine categories are. Uh, the first one we've got is the uh, B plus E, the car and trailer. Uh, that. Uh, uh, that's for people wanting to tow cars with four-wheel drive, uh, tow trailers with four-wheel drive cars or vans or anything like that. Um, what we've also got, so that's B plus E, category number one, okay. Then if you can just see the five-ton Evico van that we've got there, that is um, the C1, seven and a half ton. We've got a lot of people that want to do their, uh, their student paramedics or horsey people want to drive the horse boxes. Uh, we also get, do a lot of TNT drivers that only want their uh, seven and a half ton license. So we've got B plus E car and trailer, C1, which is a seven and a half ton. We can also put these trails, we've got tow bar on the back of the uh, Evico van. So we can also do the C1 plus E, which takes you up to uh, a train weight of 12 ton. <clears throat> so with a seven and a half ton trailer, you can have uh, a, five and, a four and a half ton trailer sorry seven and a half ton van or a lorry small lorry you can have a four and a half ton trailer on the back of it which is your c1a not a very popular uh, license request isn't that but it you know it, it, it gets asked a lot and here at benshaw training we're trying to cover well we now can cover absolutely everything whatever anybody asks us we can do it all right so so we covered the b plus e we covered the c1 and C1E, which is uh, a large goods vehicle category. So um, we don't call it HDV anymore. It's a large goods vehicle. Uh, we've also got the category C, which is the old rigid or the class two. Um, and then once you've passed your class two, then you can move on to the class one, which is either in our wagon and drag or in our Arctic. That's how I do that. So that's a C and E. So what if I just explained to you there? B plus E car and trailer, C1 seven and a half ton, C1 E seven and a half ton and trailer, Cat C which is the rigid or old HGV class two, C plus E which is the old class one HGV class one. Uh, other categories that we've got are the D1. Now this uh, I just thought I'd do a video today because we've got this uh, minibus on hire. We had a guy pass with this yesterday. So the minibus, we hired this from A to B at Kelbrook near Cone. Um, that's the D1, so up to 16C minibus. We've also, Nathan at, uh, at A to B, uh, they're actually rebranding as Dale's Automotive. So if you want to have a look at Dale's Automotive, they're a Sangyong dealership and they are um, a Subaru dealership and they hire out camper vans and minibuses and things and vans. But they've put a tow bar on for us. Okay. So that means we can do the D1E as well. All right, so let's go back through that again. B plus E, C1, seven and a half ton. C1E, seven and a half ton and trailer. Cat C is the rigid. C and E is the class one, the Arctics. D1 is the minibus. D1E, because E's always trailer. Okay, if you haven't worked that bit out already. D1E is trailer. And then what we can also do now, we've got the bus. Uh, it's about a, I don't know, 40 seater bus is this. 12 meters long, this bus. Um, so that's the D category, PCV, passenger carrying vehicle category D. Now with this bus as well, we've put a tow bar on it. So all these trailers that we've got up here that we do the B&E with, we can tow behind the, the Evico van, the minibus and the bus as well to put the E entitlement on that category okay so that was let's go through it again b plus e c1 c1e c c and e so that's the b plus e which is the car and trailer and then the four lgv the large goods vehicle categories so that's five okay then the other four are the four pcv categories the passenger carrying vehicle categories d1 which is your minibus d1e which is your minibus and trailer Category D, which is your big bus or coach, same. And D1E, uh, sorry, DE, which is your bus, our coach and trailer. So how do you get all nine of them for just doing three tests? It's easy, all right. 
you do the category C first, which is the, oh, I don't like to show you that white one. We haven't got that painted up yet. Um, but category C <clears throat> gives you your provisional. When you pass that, you also get your C1 at the same time, the Vico van, that five ton of Vico van of ours up there. So that's two licenses for just doing one test because you get do the bigger one, you get the smaller one given. So once you've done your category C, not the bus, the C, the DAFs there, the rigids. Once you've done the C, you can then move on to the C and E. Now, we, we work really hard at giving people the choices they want. You can either do your CE in a wagon and drag, so you can do the Cat C in that, in that Volvo there, and then put the drawbar trailer on, you can do your C and E. Or, more popular, most people go for the Arctic, it's more fun, it's a bit harder, it takes a bit longer to get used to, but it's, uh, it, it, it's good fun. So, once you've done your C, and then your C and E, oh, what are you keeping up? It's all right, it's all on the website, is this? All right. You do your C, and then your C and E. That's what most people do. That's our most com common course that we do, is uh, for the trucks, for the large goods vehicle. But what do you get when you pass your C and E, the truck and trailer? You also get your C1E, which remember, sorry, back up there, I can't be bothered walking up there, is the Avico van, which is five ton, and the trailer on. That gives you your C1E. You can, uh, you also get your B&E, which is your car and trailer. So out of them two tests, you have got five license categories added to your driving license. Five for doing two tests. All right. Now, where does that next one come? If you then bypass the minibus, forget that, you can do it if you want to, but you can go for the bigger one, go for the big bus, take that test. That then gives you, obviously, the category D, which is the big one. It gives you the D1, which is the minibus, because you're doing the smaller one. And because you've got your C1, uh, sorry, if you've got, because you've got your C, E, I'm, you know, I'm getting confused now. Because you've got your C and E, which is the bigger one, that gives you your bus and trailer, your minibus and trailer as well. So that gives you all nine categories. B and E, C1. C1 and E, C, C and E, D1, D1 and E, D, and D and E. All right, it's complicated. You've got to do separate theory tests. You've got to do um, large goods vehicle theory tests for the truck elements of it. You've got to do the passenger carrying vehicle theory tests for the bus element of it. All right, you can do them all individually if you want to. A lot of people do. That's why I say we've, uh, we've uh, got geared up so we can do whatever anybody asks us all nine categories all right any more information have a look on our website benshawtraining.co.uk follow us on facebook benshaw training uh, watch our videos on youtube and uh, feel free to give us a call our number is 01282 614 124 thanks for watching